girls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Josette. So I noticed that I've been getting some new comments on my Microlux install videos from two years ago. So I have three parts showing how my locks were installed, but I recorded those videos to show you the install process and you know, explain here and there. Nothing was really slowed down. So I got some comments saying, I want it slowed down. We need to see how she started your install, how she started each individual lock in detail. So I'm re-uploading part of the footage to show you in detail, basically how to install micro locks from the very beginning. So as you can see, she, my mom is, she installed my micro locks. So she is twisting, basically creating parts, twisting it. She's measuring because I wanted my parts to be quarter inch, just to make sure that I'm getting the amount of locks that I want and the size that I wanted. And if you saw the footage, I love them. I love my results and I'm about to upload my two year lockiversary. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. But I wanted to show exactly how she starts the locks because I know a lot of people maybe can't afford to get to go to a loctician or they want to do it themselves. So I'm re-uploading this footage and sharing in detail how you install micro locks with the interlocking method using the four point rotation. Okay, so now we're in a close up. So basically, as you can see, my mom is twisting the bottom. That's it, it's very simple. She just twists the bottom and holds onto the bottom and then goes ahead with the four point rotation. As you can see, once she transfers it to her other finger, she's still pinching the end. So the end is kept intact and secure so that it doesn't loosen, making it easier to do that rotation. I really hope that makes sense to you. But she uses her fingers until she gets a bit further up and then she goes in with the tool. It's a lot easier to do the beginning with your fingers because the tool is really not meant to retighten that amount of hair. You typically, a retie is done six to eight weeks, every six to eight weeks. So the growth that you have is really only about a rotation, rotation and a half, maybe two rotations if you go to 10 weeks without doing a retie, but typically it's about a rotation maybe a rotation and a half at the most. So now she's going in with the tool and continuing the same rotation that she just did. So as you can see, it's a very simple process. The key to starting the locks my mom found was easiest is just simply twisting the bottom. Now keep in mind, my hair texture is coily. I have 4C, <coughs> excuse me, I have 4C, maybe a bit of or be hair mixed in but my hair is coily so it curls onto itself very easily 4c hair is perfect for a lock journey just because of how well the hair locks and kind of hugs the hairs around it so that's really it it's really not difficult at all to start a lock and once you understand the four point rotation, it will be really easy to install your own micro locks. So I'm going to show you footage one more time and I'm going to also explain it one more time. And that'll be pretty much it for this video. So if you're paying attention, you saw that my mom was, she put down the tool and she went in with her finger again. That's what I'm talking about. You really use the tool for that last bit of hair that just needs to look nice and fresh and new. You don't want to use the tool when you have a ton of growth to do in the install process because it's really going to slow you down and it's going to be harder to grip the tool as well. It's a lot faster to use your finger to 
set up the lock let's call it setting it up so once you set up the lock with your finger then you go in with the tool to just make it look like that freshly retied and that is my first lock done now if this is your first time on my channel you definitely have a lot to catch up on i have documented my entire lock journey this is my second lock set and yeah i am almost two years locked i'm like two weeks away from being two years locked and there's just a lot to um, get up to date with and catch up with and see how my journey was along the way also if you haven't seen my install videos i definitely recommend that it's really satisfying to see the progress oh there is my son <laughs> popping in the video he's a big boy now um but yeah it's it's really cool to see the the installation process going from a loose natural to a locked natural so definitely check out those videos i'll have those in the cards and they're always in my description box as well so make sure to comment down below are you thinking of getting locks do you already have locks are you looking for a loctician are you planning on doing it yourself comment down below i always love to hear about people who are starting their journey if you have locks how many years or months or weeks or days locked are you comment below and let's chat so i'm really hoping that this footage is helpful i know sometimes it's hard to see when things are sped up so this is real time i have not altered the speed of these clips this is exactly how fast my mom was installing my locks so yeah that's pretty much it so i'm just going to skip ahead to when she starts another lock but she's just going to interlock this one and then i'll skip the parting for the next row and just show you another install because I think it'll be helpful for a lot of you who are looking to do this yourselves because it's definitely doable. Why did I not do this myself? I I have the patience to do a retie, but I do not have the patience for parting. And I know that some parting is required for a retie, but the parts are already there and they're already established. But for me to go in and establish the parts myself i just do not have the patience for it i'm a patient person but i'm not that patient so kudos to everyone who takes the time to do their parts and install their locks and kudos to my mom right <laughs> okay so this is the last lock i'm going to show you as you can see she is twisting the end of the lock twisting twisting and then the rotation starts and my mom is using her finger to do that four point rotation comment below do you use a four point three point two point what is your rotation i love a four point because it makes the locks nice and compact and really symmetrical and cylinder shaped if that makes sense that explanation but yeah i love the four, the four point it's, it's just straightforward to me you're just going all the way around the clock so in case you don't know the four point rotation you just go in from one direction and come out the opposite direction so north east southwest um that's counterclockwise or, you know, you can go in from any direction. You can start at south and then you can go west and then north and east. It's really your preference which direction you want to go and what point you want to start at. But just make sure that you're going in the same direction and not skipping any entries, if that makes sense what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> but that is pretty much it for this video i hope that this was helpful i really was getting a lot of comments on my install videos to slow it down people wanted to see in detail and i get it i understand wanting to see it especially if you're looking to do it yourself so i'm like you know what let me just create a 
whole new video where I could just focus on lock installation. So I hope this is helpful. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram. I keep you guys up to date on my lock journey over there. And also subscribe to my channel, Josette Bianca. And I will see you in my next video, which will be my two year lock anniversary. I'm going to go back to the beginning and show you my progress all the way to two years. So make sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss that. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.